Sandy Miller here in Payne Falls again. <laughs> Have you ever wondered about pruning your own trees? And because you can. So I've got a Hinoki camisiferus that has crossbred with the neighbor's um, cam regular camisiferus. And so I need to go up and prune all those out. So if you'd like to know how to do that, stick around and we'll show you. The tools that I'm gonna be using today is a Japanese pruning saw extended loppers, well not extended loppers, just loppers, and then extended pruners. And this is so I can get up pretty high and hopefully won't have to jump on the roof. So, um, okay, let's do it. So we've had such a warm January here. and I'm in zone five in Ohio, and this is a Hinoki camisiferous that I picked up at a tag sale. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. And it was supposed to be a small one, and as you can see, it's not. <laughs> so, but I have a neighbor who has a camisiferous hedge. That looks like you, but there's also camisiferous. So what has happened is it has cross-pollinated. So coming off the same tree, and this, this is what we want. This is the foliage that should be on this tree. So I'm gonna have to go all the way up and prune all this out. So let me give you a shot how far this goes up. So adventures in Payne Falls. <laughs> pruning I found something interesting so there's a whole leader that seems to be um, that has cross-pollinated so my thinking at this point is I will take out a pretty big limb but because it's winter I'm not really going to worry about it see that branch that's coming out right there that's the culprit so I am going to take out that entire leader because that's a huge branch and it doesn't need to be there. And uh, I think the tree will look a lot better and be a lot healthier. Well, I decided to have a coffee break because this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. So, look at the size of this. Almost as big as my head. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is I didn't have a chainsaw. I did not have a chainsaw. I had a Japanese pruning saw. That's it. And um, the pruners, it was way too big for the pruners. So all I really needed, I don't even think I, I needed my extenders, but um, there was a bend in the tree and that was enough to mess up the tree to cross pollinate. I've taken that leader out, the whole tree's fine. So I'm so happy. <laughs> because I really didn't want to lose this tree. It's a Hinoki camisiferous and I just, they make a dwarf and I thought this was a dwarf and um, I'm really happy I didn't have to get on the roof. Um, so I'm going to clean my pond out and because we're having such a mild winter, which is not going to bode well for insects this year, but um, I'm going to run with it because the pond, I could have the pond going all winter, which I would really like. So anyway, um, I'll dip back later and send you uh, I'll stop the video and we'll have a pond tour. <laughs> okay, everybody, back in a bit. Well, that's a pretty good cut. Um, so what I've tried to do is not cut into the collar, because if I cut into the collar, it won't heal. By leaving the collar intact, the tree will go around that wound and that should heal up. 
but that took a lot of energy out of the tree so it's, it's good to have that gone and now I'm gonna walk around here clean the pond up so we got some bare spots but that will allow the tree now to diversify so I'm gonna call it a day Put the pond heater in and I took all of the pond leaves and I put them around my fig tree. So now the fig tree is a little more insulated and then these branches, this is everything that came out of that tree and those might go in the chipper and those will probably go around the bushes in the way back and we'll do that some other day. So how much trouble can a 65 year old woman get into on a, few, on a half acre? Apparently quite a bit. But today was a good day. Um, I started about 11.30. It is now 3.30. So the pruning got done, the pond got cleaned out, the heater got put in the pond, the compost pile got a little bit filled. And um, it's been a good day, and I can't believe it's January. So, if you'd like to see more adventures like this, tune in and subscribe. <laughs> Have a good day, and I hope everybody got outside today, because it was beautiful.